hello Pray and Share Warriors. How are y'all doing today? I am so excited. School's out for the summer. I am free. I am free. So those were my words today too. I am free forever. So we're going to talk, well, I mean, not from school, but through Jesus, I am free forever. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to look up some scriptures, talk about that tonight. So be thinking about, um, are you free? Are you free? Because we all need to be free through Jesus. He is the only path to heaven. And we need to take that path because it leads to heaven. All other paths do not lead to heaven. So I have, I got to show you my t-shirt. I have my finally free t-shirt, Women of Faith. I love this t-shirt. It has uh, butterflies on it too. Even though it is not sunny outside, it is... Um, rainy outside. I gotta adjust my... I don't know why it looks yellow sometimes. Well, now I look like a floating head. There's no happy medium sometimes. Let's see if I can... Oh, that's not gonna help. Okay. Well, I think I'm adjusted now. Okay, well, let's jump into some prayer. I got this hair that's just... I don't know, it's shining. It's probably gray. And more than likely it is. Let's just pray. Let's pray. Let's thank God for sending Jesus so we could be free. God, we just thank you. We thank you because you're on your throne and you are in control. We thank you for this rain. There's been an abundance of it, God, but we don't want to complain because we know the months ahead there may not be any rain. So we are just thankful, God. We know that you are in control and you are the sustainer. You know what, how much rain is needed. God, thank you for being our creator and sustainer, protector, provider, um, our shelter in the storm. Thank you for being our refuge. Thank you for being our strength. God, we just thank you because you are magnificent and powerful and mighty. And you are the righteous judge that will judge all unrighteousness. But God, you are also loving and kind and compassionate and long-suffering that you want none to perish. God, thank you for loving us. We love you with our whole heart, our soul, our mind, and our strength. God, we just pray for the lost. We just pray that you would open their eyes and their ears to the truth, that you would soften their hearts, God that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so they can be saved. We pray for the prodigals to be drawn home, God, to you, to repent of their sins, to be have the chains of bondage of sin broken, God, and for their relationship with you to be reconciled. God, we also pray for all the disasters that are going on all over the world, God, we pray for Israel and Palestine. God, we pray for all those countries in the Middle East. We pray for people that have lost loved ones. God, we just pray for peace, comfort, and strength for them. That they would feel your presence. I pray for a friend of mine, God. I pray for healing for her. I pray for um, other people, God, that are sick. I just pray for healing for them, too. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay. Well, I had... Oh. Turn my music off. It wasn't very loud. I don't know. I'm having lots of internet problems. So if you are watching my videos, the quality of video is horrible because my internet is not moving fast enough. I have been uploading two videos today on YouTube and one of them finally got uploaded and the other one is at 64% last I checked and that was really exciting. 64% is better than stuck at one. All right, well let's get into the scripture. Well first, let's, I shared a song today. 
and it's supposed to be plain. There it is. Okay. I was hoping that it wasn't real loud. That last song that I was doing was not very loud at all. And I was like, oh, I don't know if I can hear my music. Where'd it go? Huh. I know I shared it. Or I don't have to go to my other thing. She's gonna have to go to my other page. Sorry. I love this song by Newsboys. I am free. I am free. I love this song. It makes me want to dance. So if I get up and start dancing, y'all know what's going on. Alright, why is Facebook not working? What is the deal? I don't want to go to my story. I am free. Yes, I am free. Oh, well, hey, this is not working tonight. There we are. I hope you're patient. So I've had to be, oh, I was really angry yesterday when I called about my internet. But... getting so big. I'm sorry I'm in here liking and loving things. I am free. Uh, I'm so sorry. Thought I was ready tonight. pages. I guess I could sing this to you. I may just have to wing it on I Am Free. <laughs> huh. Alright, it is not opening anything. It's not opening my pages. Apparently I didn't get that shared because I shared some shoes to myself. And if you ever share anything to yourself, then you have to, for a while, you have to keep putting public or it doesn't work. What's on my mind? Oh, we'll just do it this way. We'll just do, we'll just read it from my story. Expand your browser. All right, that doesn't work either. Um, this stinks. Where's my other page? So sorry. And YouTube people, I'm sorry if my face is covered up while I'm trying to do this. Sorry if my face is covered up. I don't think it is though. I don't think it does that. Okay, well this apparently is not gonna work tonight. <sighs> Cannot believe that it didn't share when I shared it today. Oh here it comes my child anyway. Alright. I'll be there in just a second.
Okay, I'm just going to come back and talk about being free. Because this is not working tonight. That's okay. We'll just wing it. I'll be right back. I was thinking I was connected, but I'm not. Come on. Okay, all right, so being free, what does it feel like to be free? Well, I felt, I felt total freedom when I realized that I could get Seth to take all of his tests today and I could be done today. I mean, that was such uh, a relief to know that summer started today and that tomorrow is the first day of summer vacation, so I felt really free about that, but more than that, spiritually, to be spiritually free is to know that you've been forgiven. You've been forgiven. You, there has been grace that has been given to you. Uh, you have retained, you have received mercy. That's what being free is. Being free is being saved. It's receiving Jesus as your Savior and knowing that your eternity will be spent in a place that most people can't describe and most people have not seen. So we talked about the Holy Spirit last night. And so... I need the Holy Spirit to tell me what to say right now because I'm a little bit lost. I had a plan, but my plan got changed. So my backup plan will be that our freedom comes through salvation. And how we get that is we ask Jesus into our heart. And why we want that is because we don't want to be in bondage of sin. Because sin is bondage. Sin is so fun at the beginning, but before long, it runs your life. It's just like the frog that you put in the cool water, and then you turn the burner on. Well, he just adjusts as the water gets hotter. Sooner or later, he's boiled because he didn't jump out. That's kind of how sin is. Sin is its so great at first, but then it takes hold of you and you can't get away from it. But Jesus is the chain breaker of all sins. He is the one that can break the chains of the bondage. You know, God and I, when I had my quiet time, he was talking to me about generational bondage to sin. And I, I so see how that could happen. Generation after generation after generation, that's all they know. That's all they know is that bondage of sin. That's all they know is, that's all they know is that addiction they live the life of addiction they live their life for addiction either gambling or drugs or alcohol it's all bondage and it is all sin against god and so that is how that is their norm that's their norm but jesus can break those chains jesus can set us free jesus can change our hearts and change our minds and change our desires in our hearts to where we don't desire that anymore 
and to where we know that sin. And we have the Holy Spirit. We talked about the Holy Spirit last night. We have the Holy Spirit that convicts us of sin. But there are so many people, so many people living in the bondage of sin and they think it's okay. And they think, well, I haven't done some of the really, really bad things against God, so I'll be okay. I'll be okay, and I will make it to heaven. But none of us are good enough to go to heaven on our own. We need salvation through Jesus. Salvation through Jesus right now to God is most important because He sees everyone. He knows everyone's heart. He knows everyone's mind. And He sees that there is a lot of lostness there is a lot of brokenness. There is a lot of... There is a lot of sadness. There is a lot of corruption. There is a lot of things that are not right in the sight of God. And we must repent of our sins. <laughs> My Facebook thing. Oh, they better fix my internet because I'm tired of paying $75 or $77 for this. So I hope my internet gets fixed tomorrow. I'll be one mad person. Okay. So, there are a lot of areas of sin, and it is a disease. I was listening to a guy a while ago. He said, sin is a disease, and Jesus is the only cure. So, if you really want to be set free, if you want to be set free like never before, then accept Jesus as your Savior. Now we're going to look up some uh, scriptures. And I, I don't remember what I said this morning. And since I can't get it to open up. I'm going to try one more time. I thought I would wing it. And now my, uh, my music's not even working because my internet's not fast enough to run all these things at the same time. We're running the TV. I've got two things going here. I'm trying to upload a video over there and I guess it's too much of a drain. But you know what? I have one of the fastest internets and I went with the kinetic internet because I wanted it to be fast. And I am not pleased with it right now. It is horrible. The music keeps going and going away. We'll see if Facebook is working a little better. I thought I had some good points this morning, but I don't know, I might not have. I can't even get it to open. This is so annoying. I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. So all I can do is get into the feed and that isn't going to give me what I wrote this morning. Alright. Well. Apparently I'm not meant to read that or it would all be working out. I really thought that I I thought I shared it this morning but it's not showing that I did. I can't even get into my page anymore. Home. I can go to home. I can't even do that anymore. Okay. Well, let's do scriptures. Probably not going to be on here for very long. 
because my video has messed up on Facebook again and it's trying to it's trying to shut down okay let's just move into scripture sometimes electronics are gonna let us down but this God's Word will never let us down so we'll just move into God's Word uh, let's read Galatians 5.13. Yeah, this music is not, it's not working either. I'm just going to turn it off. need that in my ear if nothing's in there. Okay, well let's move to Galatians. I do apologize for my slow internet and if it, this doesn't get resolved then I'm shopping for something else because I do too much on the internet to for it to be so slow. Okay, uh, Galatians 5.13 says, for brethren, ye have been called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, but by love serve one another. For all the law is fulfilled in one word, even this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. So we are, we have been called to be free, to liberty. But we don't need to use it as thinking that we can do whatever we want to because we're free. Because we need to, like we talked about last night, walk in righteousness, walk in the Spirit. We need to, we don't have to be perfect, but we need to uh, strive, strive to to stay away from the things of the flesh because that's sin and God does not like sin you know God hasn't changed his mind I know a lot of people go oh this is old and outdated well you know what he wrote it and he wrote it for us and God's not outdated he's been around forever and so this is what we are supposed to do these are our basic instructions before leaving earth is to learn this are we ever going to know every word of it absolutely not but we need to strive to learn as much as we can okay let's read john eight thirty six, which was my focal verse on this whole thing uh, 8.36 and I'm sure you've heard this one before okay um, let's start with 34 and this is Jesus Jesus answered them verily verily I say unto you whosoever committeth sin is the servant of sin and the servant abideth not in the house forever but the son abideth forever if the Son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. I know that ye are Abraham's seed, but ye seek to kill me, because my word hath no place in you. I speak that which I have seen with my father, and ye do that which ye have seen with your father. So he was calling out the, <clears throat> the Jews, is what he was doing. But if Jesus sets us free, then we are free indeed. We do not have to be um, a slave to sin or a servant of sin. We don't, you know, it's our choice. It's our choice whether we want to sin or not. You know, we shouldn't go, well, God, it's your fault that I'm sinning. No, it's our choice. We can say no. We can flee. We can walk away. It is our choice. And that choice comes with consequences. Sometimes the consequences aren't so good. They aren't. 
Okay, so let's see if we can find something else. Romans 6, 7 says this. For he that is dead is freed from sin. Now if we be dead with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him, knowing that Christ, being raised from the dead, dieth no more. Death hath no more dominion over him. For, if, for in that he died, he died unto sin once. But in that he liveth, he liveth unto God. So... So we can be dead in our sin. Sin is death. Sin is not life. Sin is death. So we can be dead in our sin, but once we are set free from that sin, we are freed. And we can only do that through Jesus. Um, Romans 6.6 6 says, Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. So we should we should abstain from sin. Yes, there there is forgiveness. There is forgiveness. But it is not a reason to stay in sin. It is not a reason. Okay. Okay, let's go to Galatians 5, 1. Galatians 5, 1. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free. Is that what we read a while ago? No. Um... And be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. So sin is bondage. We don't want to be entangled with it. Uh, we don't want to be yoked with it. Like we can't move without our sin coming with us or without our sin. We follow our sin around. It's the same thing. We want to be yoked with Jesus. And behold, I, Paul, say unto you that if ye be circumcised, Christ shall profit you nothing. For I testify again to every man that is circumcised that he is a debtor to do the whole law. Christ is become in no effect unto you. Whosoever of you are justified by the law, ye are fallen from grace. For we through the Spirit wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. For in Jesus Christ neither circumcision availeth anything nor uncircumcision, but faith which worketh by love. Ye did run well, who did hinder you, that ye should not obey the truth. This persecution cometh not of him that calleth you. So he's kind of calling them out because they're trying to walk by the law and not walk by the Spirit and not walk by faith and not follow what Jesus has taught. Because when Jesus died the um, the law the law the holy of holies the curtain that separated the priest from the people that were getting their sins forgiven they had to go to a priest then when Jesus died that curtain that separated God's part of the temple where the uh, sins were dealt with that curtain was rent in two, was ripped in two. And the reason why it was is because Jesus, the death of Jesus, grants us access to God. Through Jesus, we have access to God. If we don't have Jesus, we don't have access to God. And God loves us and God cares about us, but as far as having a relationship with God, we don't have one. You know, you can't have a relationship with someone that you don't pray to, that you don't 
sing songs of praise and worship that you don't spend time with. You can't have a relationship with someone you don't spend time with. You have to spend time with God. You have to spend time in His Word. You have to spend time in prayer, which is communication to God. And because you are so thankful, you want to sing those songs of praise and worship. Okay, I'd like to be listening to some praise and worship, but I guess not. There weren't a whole lot of things on here. I thought there were a whole lot more scriptures on here. I'm going to see if I can find something in the back of my Bible. Sometimes it gives me a better list. This Bible is so old. Well, it's, this Bible is 30 years old. I bought this Bible when I got saved. Uh, free. Sometimes it doesn't even have the words that truth make you free. We read that. Mm, Romans 8 2 made me free. Christ hath made us free. Okay. I think we read all the ones that I read. Oh, wait, there's a Galatians 3 28. Neither bond nor free. Okay, let's go read that one. And then we will move on. And I apologize that things were so crazy tonight. There is neither Jew, Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. For ye all are one in Christ. And if ye be Christ, then, then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. You know, we read about that. Uh, is that what we read about? No, I don't think it is. We read one time in Sunday school about people that were saying, well, I am of Apollos. I am of Paul. I am, instead of saying that they were all of Jesus, because we are all of Jesus. If you are saved by Jesus, you need to be following Jesus. we got to follow Jesus to heaven. We can't follow um, a preacher or a man to heaven. We have to follow Jesus. Okay. Well, you may be having trouble with the TV, Seth, because I'm having trouble with the internet in here. So I'm just going to continue my time. All right. So these are my notes from today. And I've decided that I am going to skip the pleasantries that God and I have every morning. And I'm just going to read, like, what the discussion is about. I was having a really, really hard time concentrating this morning. So, so, um, so God said, child, your mind rarely is staying still. My mind was just like 90 to nothing. I had so many great ideas this morning during quiet time. Um, he said, I gifted you with your mind. It is inventive and is always working something out. It is. I'm always working something out. I'm a problem solver. And so I'm always pr solving some problem in my mind. Like all day long, I'm doing that. Um, some detail to improve everything you do as a system or process. Everything I do is a system or process. And it is the same. I'm not really, I wouldn't say that I'm OCD because I don't do it over and over and over again, like within 30 minutes. But every time I do it, I do it exactly the same. And I want to do it exactly the same until I can find another way that's better. Then I'll change. I'll change if I can find something better. Um, I said, you are so right, God. Sometimes it feels like bondage. Um, is it wrong to have a process for everything? I have a process for everything. 
not repetitive, but everything. I used to be a finisher and completer of all that I do, but I have learned that I can go back and finish things. I said, thank you, God, for my inventive mind. I do enjoy inventing things, whether I share it or not. Whether I share my invention or not, I enjoy inventing things. Um, he said, child, so many people need to be set free from the bondage of sin through Jesus. So many don't even know they are in bondage because it is all they have known and experienced in their lives. It is all their parents knew too. It is generational, but any generation can begin to break free through salvation in Jesus. And many times it has a ripple effect to the older generations also. I have seen that. I have seen younger people get saved and it would ripple into their family. And that's amazing when that happens. Uh, my Jesus movement is doing that. It is setting people free of their sin and shame. Jesus is the only one that can set people free because he took on every bit of the sin and shame of the whole world on the cross of Calvary. I am using this movement to send in not the cavalry, but the Calvary, the Calvary, the Jesus people, the cavalry, the Calvary, the Calvary. The Calvary, uh, the freeing message of Jesus. People do not have to live in bondage, but many choose to because they do not know the freedom that comes with salvation. Share your freedom experience, all of it. So I have to share some testimony tonight. I said, okay, okay God, I will do that. I may even write a lesson about it. I didn't get a lesson written, but... I did good. I was busy today. I wasn't just sitting around. Um, okay, please meet my needs to be successful, God. Thank you for meeting with me today, God. Please order my steps today for your honor and glory. I love you with my whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. Give my mama and daddy a hug. I love you too, my child. Now go... And do all that I ask today. I will order your steps today and help you to be successful in your new calling also. The reunion is soon, but many need to have the offer of salvation. Many, because of sin, feel unworthy of my love. This is not true and must be shared with them. They have not been taught or heard the truth, so they do not know. The marriage of the Lamb is coming. Be ready to go. Know that what you leave behind will be for my honor and glory, and the obedience you have will be rewarded here. And I said, Marin Maranatha, God. Maranatha, not Marinara, but Maranatha. Okay. So I'm going to share with you... Um, That when I was 31, I was going through a really hard time. I was a single mom. And my heart was broken. It's just, I couldn't have been more broken if I tried. I felt useless. I felt worthless. I felt unloved. I felt uncared for. And I did not have a close relationship with God. But what I had been doing for a year before this happened, I had been reading God's Word every day. Every night, I would read God's Word, and I would pray. And so, because of circumstances in my life, I was broken. And so, I got saved at the church that I go to now. But I want to tell you, I was at a crossroads because I could have very clearly gone back to the left and could have gone back to what I knew because I had been single before. 
I knew what the single life was. I knew what it had in store for me. But I had a six-year-old. And I did not want that lifestyle for my six-year-old. My precious six-year-old little girl, I did not want that lifestyle for her. I did not want her to see her mother in that lifestyle. So, because I believe, because God had been drawing me back to him through his word, I was drawn to Jesus instead. Instead of going back to what I knew, the single life, I was drawn to Jesus instead. So, I started going to church, taking my six-year-old to church, and eventually, five months after I started going to church, I got saved, and I've been saved for 30 years. And if I was ever at that crossroads again, I would never go back to the single life and what I knew about it. I would not. Because the 30 years that I have been on this path with Jesus have been not perfect. There's been some hard times. But I wouldn't want anybody to walk me through those hard times except for Jesus. Because He knows. He knows what's there. He knows the pitfalls. He knows. He knows what's on the path. I do not know what's on the path. I don't know could like not wake up tomorrow. I have no guarantee of life. You know, I'm here for as long as God wants me to be here. I had an arrival date and I will have a departure date. My choice is to go in the rapture, but you know what? That might not be the choice for God. And who am I to tell him? You know, he will choose for me and I trust him. So that is, that was my freedom. Going with Jesus was my freedom. Going with Jesus brought my healing from my brokenness. Helped me to get my daughter involved in church, in Sunday school, in VBS, and all those great things that I grew up. I grew up as a child doing. I didn't grow up in, in an alcoholic home. That's not how I grew up. And so that is not what I wanted for my daughter. And I'm so thankful that I chose that. I'm so thankful that God started drawing me back. Because I would not be sitting here right now. I don't know. I might not even be alive had I chosen that. But that wasn't God's plan. God's plan was for me to accept Jesus as my Savior and to grow grow as a Christian every day and there's been so many things in my life that have helped other than going to church like going to work at the promise during this time too it helped me I was busy on the weekends I wasn't tempted to go back to my old lifestyle I was busy I was you know working I was um, working for a company that shared the love of Jesus through this wonderful musical drama about Jesus. You know, why would I want to go back? So all of this gave me freedom. Was it perfect at times? No, I've been through some really hard things. But you know what? Those things God has been faithful to see me through. And those things in my life that have happened, I can use to encourage other people that God will see them through. They need to trust Him. So that is what I wanted to share tonight. And uh, that might be why my thing didn't work tonight. I don't know. But anyway, because of Jesus, I am free. And so because I am free, I have the urgency for everyone to be free. I don't want people to be in bondage of sin. Being in bondage of sin is no fun. 
It is no fun. Let's do let's do this. Let's do the E band tonight. Let's do some salvation. I will do salvation every time I come on here. Because it is so important to God right now. And it is important to me too. If it's important to God, it's important to me. I, like God, don't want anyone to perish. I want everybody to be in heaven. I want everybody to have a ticket to heaven. Okay, so, for I am not ashamed of the gospel, because it is God's power for salvation to everyone who believes, Romans 1, 16. So the gold color represents God, the creator of all, who lives in heaven. The Bible says that God is light, and in him there is no darkness. God is perfect. God loves you, and he wants to have a personal relationship with you. Jesus is God's son. The Bible says that Jesus and God are one. So Jesus and God are one. The dark color represents sin which is doing wrong things. God says that all have sinned and fall short of, the, of God's standard of perfection. Sin separates us from God. The Bible says that the penalty for our sin is death or separation from God forever. Because if we die in our sin, we will be separated from God forever. That was something else that I heard this afternoon. The first question mark is asking, how can your sins be removed so that you can know God? Well, this is how. This red color right here. The red color represents Jesus' blood. Jesus lived a perfect and sinless life, but he died on a cross to pay the penalty for all of our sin. Again, the payment of sin is death. So Jesus paid the penalty for each of us. Why? The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he sent his one and only Son, that whosoever believes in him will not perish, but will have everlasting life. With God, the good news is that you don't have to be separated from God forever by sin. We do not have to be separated. So... The white color represents each of us after our sins are washed away by Jesus. How can Jesus wash away, wash our sins away? When we believe in Jesus by following him, our sins are forgiven. The Bible says, if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Romans 10:9. This question mark is asking, have you accepted Jesus' gift of forgiveness by believing in him? So if you have not, let's say this prayer, and I will leave a space to where you can repeat after me. So God, thank you for loving me. I confess that I have sinned against you. I believe that your son Jesus died on a cross to pay for my sins and that you raised Jesus from the dead. I now put my faith only in Jesus to forgive me and save me from my sins. I confess that Jesus is Lord. Thank you for your gift of eternal life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Wow. Leaning in like that. The green color represents growth in your relationship with God. These symbols show the areas of growth. So growth is green. The heart. The heart. The greatest commandment is that we love the Lord our God with all our heart, 
soul, mind, and strength, and that we love our neighbor as ourselves. Love God, love people. Read the Bible each day to learn more about God and His love. So that's the Bible symbol. We've got the praying man symbol. Pray to God constantly and share your thoughts, needs, and desires with Him. Then we got the drop of water. When we are baptized, we are telling the world that we have committed our lives to Jesus and that we are a new person. We are free. Like being born all over again. I added that. That wasn't on there. Hang out with other Christians and encourage each other. Church is a good place to start. It is a good place to start. When I was broken, wow, I got busy at church and it was a great place to fellowship. Share the good news that Jesus can forgive sins when you trust in him. Tell as many people as you can. Yes, that is so good. So if you said that prayer and you accepted Jesus as your Savior, then welcome to the kingdom family of God. Your name is now written in the Lamb's Book of Life, and the angels are rejoicing. And just like I read God's Word every day before I went through the brokenness that I went through as a single mom, Read God's word every day so you can learn and pray and praise. Maybe if you don't have slow internet like me, praise uh -huh. and just lean into Jesus. You are now free. You are now a new creature and you are free. You are free forever. Forgot to say that. I am free forever. Forever. I'm not free from teaching school. I'll have to start back in the fall, but I'm free for now. For now, I'm free, and I'm thanking God. I'm so happy today. Just so happy knowing that I could do some extra things in the morning other than teaching. So, anyway, freedom is great. All right, let me give you God's blessing, and let me yeah. pray. I wasn't planning on being on this long, mm -mm. but it seems like I am. Mm. <laughs> I've been trying to cut it back, but uh, I do like to talk. Okay, so Numbers 6, 24 through 26, The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. So I pray peace for you. I pray for protection and provision and blessings from God. Let's pray real quick. God, thank you for giving us freedom. God, we are so thankful that we are free forever. That we are no longer in the bondage of sin. That if we do fall into sin, that we can ask for forgiveness, God. We just pray for people out there that do not think they're worthy of your love, God. Just let them know that they are. That um, we all come as sinners. That there are none of us that are not sinners, God. But that there is... That Jesus is the Savior that can wipe away all sins. Can wash away all sins. That he gave his life for every one of us, God. We are thankful for that gift of amazing grace. God, please help us. Give us the boldness to go and share your truths and your gospel to everyone that we can. God, just help us to, to show the love and compassion of Jesus everywhere we go. I pray for my friends, God, that are sick. I pray for healing for them. I pray that you would place your healing hand upon them, that they would feel your presence in their sickness. And in Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, well, pray and share, warriors. Y'all are beautiful. I don't say that often enough, but y'all are beautiful. You are beautiful treasures. God treasures you in his heart. You are his awesome treasures. 
that's why I named them this uh, awesome treasures because in God's eyes we are his awesome treasures and he is our awesome treasure too in Jesus and the Holy Spirit uh, it's going to be so exciting to get to heaven what a day of rejoicing it will be when we all get to heaven we will sing and shout the victory yep <laughs> I grew up Church of Christ so I know a lot of lyrics to songs okay well much love have an awesome awesome evening and an awesome tomorrow I can't believe it's just Wednesday it seems like Friday today <laughs> <laughs> Much love and cyber hugs till I see you again. Good night.